on today's episode, the Marlin 5 gets a much needed upgrade. And everyone says, that's pretty cool. back to hardtail riders today we are going to be changing that the chain tensioner right here all right so why am i changing it out well there's a couple reasons why one the six millimeter bolt is stripping two i'm tired of aligning the chain and the jock wheel together and as you can see right here if i hit something extremely hard which you know happens every now and then this will move like that so let's go ahead and take it off So this is a Zito right here. I paid about 20 bucks for it. It is extremely light. That's the reason why I got it. I bought a different jockey wheel for it. These are titanium bolts right here. But let me show you. The six mil is stripping. See that? This used to have a spring in this right here. We took the spring out. We JB welded these two pieces together. So it was kind of solid on there. But let's see how much this weighs as is. See how much it weighs right now. Comes out to 56 grams. So this is the DMR STS chain tensioner right here. This is twice as much as the Zitto. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So this is the package it comes in, which you probably would expect from a $40 chain tensioner. Um, it has instructions in the back, but we're men, we don't need those. Let's open it up with my scissors. This is stainless steel body on it. This is urethane with sealed cartridge bearings on it. I don't know, I think this is aluminum. Yeah, I don't know, it might be plastic, but I think it's aluminum. It's pretty nice. It's heavier, definitely, than the Zeta. Go ahead and weigh this. Wow, it's already much heavier. 113 grams. And the Zitto was what, 56? I'm gonna try to see if I got some titanium bolts. See if I can make it lighter. All right, the bad news is that I don't have any titanium bolts to make this lighter. I just hope that when I install it that it's still under 21 pounds. So let's go ahead and get started. Start by taking your wheel off. Just like that. Take the chain off, pull this down. I gotta clean that up real fast. What you wanna do is take this off. This right here is gonna have to go inside here. Spring through, and that wasn't supposed to happen like that. Just like that. Loose. Yeah, keep that a little loose. Now, let's bring it back up. Put the chain back on. go tighten it down okay all right so now take your stainless steel body with your urethane wheel put it down like that screw this into the piece that went into your quick release Put your bolt in here that goes in your derailleur hanger like that now what you're going to want to do hold this down as tight as you can actually uh, what happened there oh i might have to adjust because it slides 
See how this slides? But I think it might have to, I think it might have to go over a little more. Uh, tighten up the one that's connected to your quick release. Oh, that's actually, that's really tight. I'm surprised how tight that is. We have angle nowhere. I do like that it has two points on it. Two points to bolt down. That's how you install a DMR STS Tain Tensor. <laughs> See? My words got all spiggled and spattled, dude. <laughs> okay, ready? That's how you install a DMR STS Tain Tensor. I can't say it! That's how you install a DMR STS chain tensioner. I will be giving you guys a review on it. I'll be heading to the trail tomorrow. Oh, I wonder if it still weighs under 21 pounds. I hope it still weighs 21 pounds. Twenty-one eighty-two. All right, that's the end of the video. I'm happy the bike still weighs 21 pounds. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button, and please leave a comment down below. Until next time, get out there and ride.